For example, this is a vertex in conventional field theory. Three word lines meet at a point which is zero dimensional. Zero dimensional particles are moving. Okay, and they are tracing out a curve. So this is a word line, word line, word line. Now, what happens is I replace this by Yes, so this is a one dimensional open string, this is a one dimensional closed string, closed string, closed string, open string, open string, open string, open string one dimensional open string. Now this vertex is a spread it so if I were allowed to change the dimensions of my zero dimensional particles to some one dimensional objects I, at the moment, I don't know what they are. I only referring. I am only referring to, to the dimension. So one dimensional objects could only be either a open string, just an open string with two endpoints, or a closed loop. Okay. So the open string moves. It splits into two open strings. <coughs> or two open strings they annihilate each other to give a single open string right so one open string is splitting into two or two open strings annihilating into one similarly one closed string is splitting into two closed strings or two closed strings annihilating into one closed string and this diagram so let me let me just uh, now how would my this diagram look like how would my this diagram look like this diagram would uh, Very good. So, this is the field theory diagram and this is the string theory diagram. So, here I have an electron, electron, electron 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 going to electron electron or electron positron going to electron positron if i had this in my this is a photon electron electron so this is qed but this would be if i would call it quantum gravity if I would call it quantum gravity, okay, but eventually it will turn out that this is incorrect, so I, I must cross it here, 
if you forget to cross it there in your notes and somebody you show it to somebody he will say oh mr kulsrestha teaches you wrong physics okay that's not true <coughs> but if i were to construct analogously a field theory for gravity a quantum theory for gravity i mean of course it's, it's a quantum process not a classical process okay as i told you at the beginning that this electron electron they just pass by each other okay doesn't matter how how so ever close that's classical electrodynamic classical interaction of the two okay but if they were to exchange a photon okay which i said uh the love letter of olden days okay the the boy gives a letter to the girl sir would forgive me yes <laughs> for my <laughs> for my explanations okay it doesn't happen anymore so uh, it used to be like one postman postman coming and taking i write a letter to to my friend and the postman delivers it okay so, so there was only one postman okay like electro like electromagnetism but then a strong a strong electro weak has three w plus w minus and zero force carriers are three now you order a pizza then this guy comes on a water bike right or in a four wheeler correct rushing up trying to crush everybody else on the street and trying to bring it to you as hot as possible right but then you have in your mobile you can have sms you can have whatsapp you can have email there are many many ways to communicate Your letters of olden days. Okay, so you no longer need that one postman, one one lucky or 